so it's the time to do the hands on and so we will be like going on to the technical things and the first thing I want you to have you can use CentOS as the operating system for these labs so I'm using CentOS 8 you can use the same you can download it you should have uh, your machine ready with either VirtualBox or VMware Workstation so I am using VMware Workstation here you can use any of the virtualization software of your choice I will be creating three I have three machines which I'm just going to show you my controller will be running CentOS 8 will have three GB of RAM two will be good enough no problem it will have two LAN cards one will be connecting to the internet which is in the bridge mode and the another will be the host only to talk to the other nodes and it will have the GUI available or the installed okay and then two nodes one I will have with 2 GB RAM and another I will have with 3 GB RAM there is a reason behind it I'll be coming on to that I don't need any internet connection there so they should have only single LAN card we should be connecting to the host network so that the controller host node 1 and node 2 should be able to talk to each to each other using the internal network All right so it's a time I think it's the right time to be technically sound and wear this pardon hat so whenever I do the labs I normally wear this this looks good you feel good so guys let's start do the, the installation part one more thing which you need is you need to be connected with the EPEL repository on the controller so that you'll be able to download the Ansible packages that's all you need so let's start it So guys this is my server you can see here and I am running CentOS 8 which I can confirm this is the one and here I can show you my IP addresses also and the RAM first I have got around 4 GB of RAM available on this machine which is good for the controller I can give the check the IP so I have got one IP 10.0.0.1 which is for the internal communication and I've got uh, the another IP which is 192.168.0.64 which is in the bridge mode and will be used for communicating to the outside world that's the IP so which I can confirm using the dig command whether I am able to go to the internet or not so dig is working perfect that's great fine that's good I'm good with that now if I go to my node one I had not installed the graphical user interface here not required so we save on resources so this is the node one and the IP is 10.0.0.2 you can see it here which is only I don't need any internet connectivity here and the RAM is around 2 GB of RAM available on this machine I am okay with that now in the same manner if I check the RAM it is on node 2 it is 10.0.0.2 and the RAM is around 3 GB of RAM there is a reason behind it now one more thing I need to see that the communication so I'm doing a ping so I'm able to ping to the node 2 node 1 and node 2 also perfect that's great this is good I'm okay with that so the host name is node 1 dot example dot com and the other machine host name is node 2 dot example dot com so I wanted to have the communication based on the names and I I, I don't have the DNS so I'll be putting up an entry in the Etsy host file so server dot example dot com and the nickname can be server or anything else 10.0.0.2 node 1.example.com example dot com nickname is node 1 and 10.0.0.3 node 2 dot example dot com yep and the name is node 2 perfect that's great save and come out simple Linux stuff copy it on both the machines so I'm copying it on node 1 and then I'll be copying it on node 2 also assign the password no rocket science here repeat the same for node 2 that's all wonderful give the password that's great so now I should be able to ping the machines using the name it's working everything is working as planned and node 2 also wonderful now 
when the connectivity is done that's great i can check it here also though it is already there yeah it's there there is no problem in that it's no harm doing a reconfirmation right i'm okay i'm good now if i go here on the server and will see that the connection like connectivity is done the only thing which i need is i need to have the epel repository configured because i need the ansible packages so you can go to fedoraproject.org and get this URL. I am also getting it from the same website. So this EPEL extra packages for enterprise Linux is required. The repository is required to, to download the Ansible packages. And that is the reason I have uh, two uh, NICs configured here. So just take care of spellings. Mine is relate or sent to a state sorry and then the noarc.rpm yeah just right here just take care of the typos yeah that's you have to be careful right we'll be checking the repositories and if everything is right i should be able to download the package wow wonderful that's all epl is there so i can confirm it after going into at cm.repos.d the epl repository is coming up now the last step is I can just use yum install ansible that is how you install the ansible controller might take some time need not to worry about that yep just wait for a while perfect everything is working fine need to press yes and it is coming from EPL check it out just do a yes here you are re you are ready to go and the ansible is installed so let it install here let's wait obviously i need to accept the keys let it install might take some time depending upon your internet speed so ansible 2.9.3 is what i am going to work with wonderful it's being done confirm it by the command ansible rpm query take care of spelling right you can also give ansible hyphen hyphen version to check it so the main config file the version is 2.9.3 and the main config file is at c ansible ansible.cfg so that's the main configuration file for the ansible we will be learning a lot about it i need not to do anything on node 1 and node 2 as i had already told you it is a agent less configuration management tool so that's the beauty of ansible nothing need to be installed on the agents or the remote servers so all i need now is i need to have a key based authentication so i will be generating my keys here on the server and will be sending my keys from the server to the node 1 and node 2 so host name is my server.example.com so i'll just do a command here simple rscs stuff basic linux stuff ssh hyphen keygen key gen enter use the default path press enter for the passphrase that's great i can confirm it by going in my home directory under dot ssh you will find the file id underscore rsa dot pub and id underscore rsa pub is the file which i'm going to copy to both the remote machines so the command is very simple ssh copy id and the name of the machine that's all root at node one will do obviously it will ask me for the password if when i'm doing it now but won't be asking me for the password subsequent times so giving the password here i uh, repeat the same for node 2 simple stuff no rocket science perfect that's great wonderful so if i am able to do ssh to node 1 without the password that's great try it on node 2 also wonderful this is done so once this is done my key base authentication is there and the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to learn about the inventory files and the configuration files so i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care godspeed